Hey, I am the Greg, one of the hosts of the Greg and Dave Show. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Hi, everybody. This is Baxter Colburn from Public House Media. From all of us here at PHM, we'd like to thank you for your support and wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. with Keith and Katie here on Public House Media. Once you are done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Coffee with Keith and Katie, where we talk about the adventures of our daily lives and relationship. A new show comes out every Tuesday and Friday at 8.30 p.m. Central. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of Coffee with Keith and Katie. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. to be a more confident person, to step forward in faith, to be more uh, more vulnerable, vulnerable and more confident, guess what? I've got five tips for you today to help you be just that. Again, my name is Kim Meyer. I'm the founder of Choose to Rise and so happy to be ha- coming live to you here on uh, Public House Media and joining you, joining, hopefully you're joining me here on the podcast as well. And so thank you so much for joining us on this wonderful Monday. Um, I have five confidence strategies today to give you a new you, to be your absolute best and to feel comfortable, feel confident. And, you know, we all live in a vulnerable um, world. Um, where our age and our success and um, how we look and all kinds of things really play into a part of kind of who we are and what how people look at us and how people treat us. Um, but you know, there's being confident helps in so many ways in all of those areas, and it's truly important work that we need to work on our confidence and be um, be a better version of ourselves um, so that we can exude the confidence to other people and learn to live our best life. So I'm going to give you five tips today um, that are going to help you be more confident, help you carry yourself um, in a different way, and uh, hopefully help you live life in a more full and exciting adventure. So today, number one, uh, with confidence, you know, did you know that 85% of the world's population suffers from low self-esteem? That just breaks my heart and makes me so sad. And knowing that 85% of the world's population 85%, and I'm guessing, I don't know this for a fact, but I'm guessing that the majority of that 85% are women or young girls. And, um, you know, the word confidence comes from a Latin word meaning to trust fully. And so what that really means is that 85% of our world do not fully trust themselves to be able to go forward and do the things that they love, go forward and do the things that they're meant to do, go forward and do things that will bring value to the world and bring value to themselves. So when you say that you want to follow through with things, when you uh, want to commit to do something, when you want to, when you promise yourself that you're going to be able to accomplish something and then you don't, that's when your confidence goes down. But if you're able to fully commit to something, if you were to build your own confidence, if you were to uh, move forward and do the things that you say you're going to do, set some goals, set some actions, and actually complete them, that's when your confidence rises. So part of the first thing you need to do is confront your fears. You need to step forward confront head on the things that you're afraid of, that you're anxious about, that you're avoiding, the things that make your confidence disappear. If you can set aside the fear that rules your mind, you're going to be able to move forward in a positive way and get closer to where you want to go in the end. So if you're um, letting fear decide where you're going to go, um, you're never going to go very far because it's always going to hold you back. And if you're wanting to go forward and do something with your life, if you have goals that you want to achieve, if you have something that you want to... um, accomplish, setting a a goal, setting a small goal, maybe taking one bite of the elephant at a time and uh, setting a small goal, doing, setting some actions and accomplishing it. Then setting another small goal and doing the actions and accomplishing it. It hasn't, it takes commitment to create confidence. It takes commitment to reach your goals. So it's something that you need to move forward with. Eleanor Roosevelt, I love this quote from her. It says, do something every day that scares you. That is pushing fear aside. That is pushing fear away from where you're at and getting, going in the direction you want to go. It's like kind of like if you have this path um, in your life 
I often think about it as like my living room some days when my kids are home all day long. Uh, it's just like there's just stuff everywhere. And uh, doing this, like doing something that scares you every day or getting rid of the fear in your life is like picking up all the stuff that's in your living room or the things that are in your path and moving them out of the way so that you can walk forward. Um, you'll get a better, you'll get better at facing your fears as your confidence goes up and you'll be able to have more confidence the more fear you push away. It's kind of a cyclical cycle that um, keeps going. So the more you begin to shift towards positivity, the more you begin to shift towards um, moving doing things and setting goals and accomplishing them, the more you can shift towards um, being more confident in your life and surrounding yourself with people that uh, build your confidence, the more likely you're going to have and more more you're likely you're going to move towards the direction that you're wanting to go in your life. We all have little voices in our heads that tell us that we're not good enough, that someone else is better than us, or that we don't deserve success. But the more we can quiet those things with actually taking action and doing the good things, that's when we're going to, like I said, move forward in confidence. And who doesn't want more confidence in their life? So shutting down the little voices in our head, um, finding friends that tell you yes versus telling you no. And the finding, also finding friends that are going to help you move forward in those actions, hold you accountable to the actions that you are setting in your life, the goals that you're setting in your life, finding people that are also moving in the same direction as you, ignoring the negative self-talk, ignoring the negative voice in your head, ignoring the negative people around you is going to help you build your confidence, move forward in faith and get going. Another thing that you can do to, to gain your confidence, to build your confidence is to visualize putting yourself in those negative little voices into a small box and then smashing that small box <laughs> um, or just putting them aside and not letting them get big. If you can put your little fears inside, sometimes they're big fears, but if you can put those fears in tiny, inside a tiny box, visualize doing that in your mind, that will help keep them small and help them put them away so that you are not letting them rule your life. To help ignore the negative voice, it's also important to surround yourself with supportive people. Like I've said, they'll be there to support you when your confidence is low, when you feel like you can't get going, when you're climbing the mountain and you just can't take another step. That's the person that's going to reach down and help pull you up. If you need somebody in that like that in your life, reach out to me. I would love to help support you and move you in the direction that you want to go towards your dreams and your towards your goals. But if you um, have more people in your life like that, you're going to be able to keep going down the path. When you when it gets hard, when you get tired when you don't feel like you can do it anymore, the friends around you, the people that surround you are going to be able to help pick you up and keep you moving forward. That you are more, there's a statistic out there that says that you are 171% more like the five people that you spend the most time with. So think about who those five people are. Are they people that are run, run down, weary, tired, negative, pessimistic people? Or are they uplifting? Are they positive? Are they goal oriented? Are they going in the same direction that you want to go? Are they there to help you build your confidence or tear you down? Think about who those five people are in your life and then find five people that are the, in the going in the direction that you want to go versus the direction that they're in right now. The fourth thing is to remember the positive past experiences. Perfectionism is destructive. If you are wanting to think about your past in any sort of way, focus on the positive things in your past, not the negative things. Maybe list out five achievements or five good qualities that you have, and then talk about how you can replicate those things going forward in your future again. If it's hard to do to think of five things, which hopefully not, but if you are struggling with confidence, it may be, list five achievements or five good qualities you have. If you can't think of things, ask a friend for help. Find one of those five people that you've been hanging out with and ask them what are five good achievements that you've made in your recent in your recent past or five good qualities about you. And then later, increase that to 10 and then increase it to 15. Try thinking of five a week, one every day. And then when you're having your struggling day, go back to that list and read it. Think about all the positive experiences in your life and focusing on what you focus on is what you create more of. So if you're focusing on the positive things, you're going to be able to magnify those op opportunities and, and magnify the positive of emotions in your life and beat the, down the negative ones. Fear and faith cannot live in the same heart. So if you're filling your mind with all the positive things and focusing on the positive things in your life, the negative things will naturally just get pushed out of the way. Begin each day thinking about how strong positive experiences, visualizing what it is that you want to achieve, reliving the things from your past that are good if it's going to help you move forward in positivity. And the better, the more often you do this, the more you're going to move towards confidence every single day. The last thing I want to share with you is dropping the vulnerable facade. 
All you have to do is drop the facade of being vulnerable. 80% of women who agree, uh, 80% women who agree, every woman has something about her that is beautiful, but do not see their own beauty. Isn't that crazy? 80% of women say that there is something beautiful in somebody else, but not in themselves. That makes me so sad. When you can stop putting all the positive things on somebody else and start believing in yourself that you're amazing and you're wonderful. That's when the good things start to happen in your own life. You don't just have to watch somebody else have amazing life. You can have an amazing life too by believing that you're worth it, that you're positive, that you're uplifted, that you are worthy of all the positivity and success in your life. Share more real self than than the you that's hidden behind your lack of confidence and the reactions and the family, friends, and colleagues will start to notice you, will start to believe in you. And in turn, you will start to believe in yourself because you're sharing who you are. Hiding behind the things that you want to be or hiding behind the things that you think other people think about you um, and not being true to yourself is so sad because that's only going to hold you back and limit you from being and enjoying life. You will be the most confident when you become who you really are meant to be. Instead of um, comparing yourself to other people, instead of trying to be somebody else, that's really kind of a diss on God because he's created you to be this amazing being. And for you to always be trying to be somebody else or trying to hide behind what somebody else is trying to make you into or what you think you're supposed to be, that is just kind of like saying, "Eh, you didn't do a good enough job in who you made me to be. So I'm going to try to be somebody else. No, don't do that. Be you. To not be yourself is to let limit the world on your amazingness. To not be yourself is to hold back what you are could be doing and hold you back from where you should be going in your life. Hiding your true self means that no one can really know who you are and that you undermines your confidence. You're most amazing in the times that you are being your true self. So don't hide from it. Be authentically you. Share who you are find people who are just like you and go in confidence and move forward in faith. Uh, That's what I have for you today. I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. I hope that these strategies help you um, become more confident in your life and live your your life to the very best. Um, And you are able to rise up today knowing that you are who God made you to be and that you are most amazing and beautiful. And if you need help at all being more confident in your life or you need somebody to round out those five people that are going to believe in you and help support you, go to choose to rise. Just choose to rise up.com and check that out. Message me here on public house media or on my page, choose to rise. I'm tagged in the video above. Go to choose to rise up at gmail.com and send me an email there. I would love to hear from you. I would love to connect with you and help support you to be your absolute best self. And I hope today that if anything that you choose to rise up to be your best self in confidence, in love, in faith, and it just amazingness because you are worthy of all of those things and so much more. Again, today, um, I'll be here back here on Public House Media on Wednesday. If you want to catch me again tomorrow morning, I will be on my own page, Choose to Rise, on Tuesdays and Thursdays here on Public House Media on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I hope to see you um, all there again next week. And if you um, like this, give it a heart, give it a love, give it a share so we can spread the voice um, of others on our our network and um, impact more lives. Have a great day, everyone.